Isabella County Sheriff Leo Metasheski says it all started a couple years ago when a then 12 year old girl was playing this online game Minecraft when then 25 year old Texas resident Glenn Timberlake started messaging her. For about the first year, nothing was sexual in the communications between them. Well, about uh, January, February this year, things kind of changed and he everything was sexually related with her during the texting. He uh, also sent some very sexually graphic videos to her that were very, very disturbing. What's even more disturbing is that Timberlake drove from Texas to Isabella County to see her. The teenage girl's mom was going out to get mail when Timberlake said hi to her. She recognized him from a picture her daughter showed her and went inside to call police, leading Isabella County deputies to arrest Timberlake, who was carrying a 13-inch butcher's knife. I can't imagine why you would bring a big knife like that if you're going to drive all the way up to Texas to, to meet somebody. So I'm not sure what, like I say, what his mindset was or what he planned on doing. But fortunately, nobody got hurt and uh, he's lodged in jail now and won't be able to hurt anybody for a long time. A children's advocacy group encourages parents to have open dialogue with their children on internet and cell phone usage to protect them from these incidents, including setting boundaries in the home like taking away their phone at night and knowing your child's password for internet and social media accounts. It's definitely scary and it happens all the time. I mean, technology is huge now. It's, it's a huge part of adults' lives and kids' lives and it's not going anywhere. Um, so we have to learn how to deal with it. I think that those conversations just need to start when technology comes into the home. So the first time a child gets Facebook or a cell phone, I think that the conversation needs to happen early and often. In Isabella County, Charlie Lapastora for Up North Live News on ABC 29 and 8.